Good morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day. And I hope that you're having a great Tuesday. It's been a beautiful morning so far, and I know God's got great plans for you today as you seek uh, His will and do what He's called you to do. Listen, a lot of people say, well, what is God's will for my life? Just tell people about Jesus. Let them know what God's done for you. Go everywhere you go with a smile and just share the love of Christ that's deep within your heart. And if you would, do me a favor. If you're enjoying these thoughts for the day, would you just share them on your social media, recommend them to others, and and let's just see if we can't spread this out uh, throughout the the world. But if you have your Bibles today, turn with me to 1 Timothy chapter 4, and we're talking about a relationship, really, between the Apostle Paul and young Timothy, a pastor at the church at Ephesus. Paul is is Timothy's pastor. spiritual father. Now understand, he was led uh, to to faith in Jesus by his mother and grandmother, but Paul took him under his wing at a fairly early age and mentored him. And this is what we see here. There's a great mentoring uh, example here in in these chapters as Paul is trying to teach Timothy and help him to understand what, uh, what he needs to be doing as a pastor. And can I say to you, child of God, if you're a believer, there are a couple of things you need to be doing. One, You need to have somebody that is mentoring you, someone that is holding you spiritually accountable, somebody that is praying with you, praying for you, helping you through difficult situations. And two, you need to be mentoring someone younger than you, someone that you can help guide and help them to understand what it means to be a child of God. Every believer needs to be doing this as part of our Christian uh, life. But look at what Paul said. Yesterday we talked about how he told Timothy, don't let anyone despise your youth, but instead to be an example for everyone. But listen to what he says in verse 13. Till I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the eldership. Meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them that your progress may be evident to all. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. There's a lot here, and it will probably take a, several days to unpack it all. But here's, here's the key to this. Paul is trying to help Timothy understand how he can be the best pastor that he can be, how he can be the best servant of the living God that, that he can be. And he says, till I come, till I get there, all right, here's what I need you to do. Focus on reading. Well, what's he talking about? He's talking about reading the Word of God, reading and, and in this particular time frame, understand the Word of God was the Old Testament. But focus on that because that's where the Christian doctrines came out of. The, the relationship with Jesus through the apostles uh, helped them to understand the message of the Old Testament. And so they began to expound on that. That's why we have these wonderful letters directing us and teaching us. But for Timothy, his reading was in the Old Testament books. And he says, focus on that. Read. Make sure you do that. That's one of the things that is so important to the Christian life today. Every one of us needs to be reading our Bibles all the time. Now, when I say all the time, I don't mean 24-7, but we need to have a time every day that we read the Word of God. Uh, Have a a Bible reading plan, a Bible study plan. Uh, Sonia and I do this every morning. We we listen uh, and read while we're eating breakfast together. We listen to about three chapters of the Bible a day, and each year we, we read through the Bible. We talk about those things. But you also need a time where you can focus on a smaller section. You've got to be focused in studying on a, in, in little bits and pieces. Sonia right now is, is writing devotionals, which we hope to be publishing uh, sometime in the future. An excellent way to study and to present what God has blessed you with. And so we're going to be uh, talking about how we can, as believers, help others understand the calling that they have in Christ Jesus. And that's what Paul says. Give attention to reading, to exhortation. What's he talking about? It's important that we encourage other people, that we are encouraged, but we encourage others. That's what we do in these relationships that we establish and build uh, with, uh, in, in the kingdom. And then he says, give attention to doctrine. Well, what is doctrine? Doctrine are those teachings that are specifically uh, focused on ways that we understand the scripture. The doctrine of salvation, for example, the doctrine of the priesthood of believer, the doctrine of the Trinity. Those are specific teachings that are found in scripture that we study so that we can understand them better. 
We won't understand them perfectly. Listen, I've been a believer now for, gosh, 44 years, and I still don't understand the, the depths and the breadth of salvation. I know it's by the grace of God through faith in Jesus Christ, not of works lest any man should boast. I know that my sins are completely forgiven and that I've got the promise of eternity in heaven. I know all of that, but I can't even begin to fathom why God would do that. Not for me, not for you, not for any of us, but his great love caused him to want a relationship with us. And I I just know that one day when I get to heaven, I'll understand it perfectly. But for now, I just rejoice in it. And so many other things. But we've got to study. And Paul tells us later that we have to study to show ourselves approved as workmen, workmen who are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So think about that today. Study, focus, listen for the voice of the Holy Spirit. See you soon.